click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hey friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about the uses of HCl and now in this topic we are going to talk about the interhalogen compounds. So what are interhalogen compounds? Let me talk about that in this topic. So friends, let me talk about interhalogen compounds. So these are the compounds in which there is two or more different halogen atoms that are been associated in the molecule, and that is what it is basically known as interhalogen. That is compounds. For example, if we talk about that is halogens, obviously we understand that is halogens are represented by X. But as I mentioned earlier, that is there should be two or more different kinds of halogen atoms that is should be attached to it, and that's the reason I'm representing the another halogen atom by X dash and this is n where the n represents that is n could be one three five or we could say seven so in this case basically the both are different compared to each other and not only depending on the atomic number but also they are also different in terms of the atomic size for example if we are talking about this x so this x it represents that the atomic size of this x it will be more compared to that of x dash so talking about the other property that is this x should be more electropositive compared to that of x dash n so that's the reason that we have certain examples for example if we talk about that is CLF. So this is an example that I have considered. CLF that is chlorine monofluoride. So in this case, if we talk about the atomic size, obviously we understand that is chlorine is having more atomic size compared to that of fluorine. And meanwhile, we also understand that fluorine is the most electronegative element in the whole periodic table. That's the reason that fluorine is more electronegative while making this chlorine to be having more electropositivity. So this is the chlorine which is basically more electropositive compared to that of fluorine and that's the reason we write Cl first and then we write F. So this is an example where we have considered that is CLF and suppose if I am talking about the another example that is we could consider the another examples also for example BrCl3 in this case suppose if we compare it with the halogens like bromine and chlorine so we will get to know that is bromine is the one which is more electropositive and also it will have more atomic size bigger atomic size compared to that of Cl and that is what it forms that is BrCl3 so therefore there are various examples for that we have to talk about so this is what we are going to talk about in my next lecture but it was very much essential for us to understand that is what are interhalogen compounds so that was a certain definition and with an example we have discussed about the interhalogen compounds so thank you friends for watching this video i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much